Uh, this quick video, uh, it's going to be making, it's making your homemade green sand, the do-it-yourself green sand, uh, for casting. Um, I've tried a couple different uh, things to do casting. I've tried Plaster of Paris, um, and I'm just not really good at it. But anyway, I have not tried this method. So I'm going to try this method here. i got the recipe on the internet, and I'm going to just show you how to put it together and what it looks like. Um, there's three ingredients. Um, uh, bentonite clay. Uh, this is a kitty litter. Uh, unscented. Go to the Dollar General and just buy the unscented kitty litter. It's bentonite clay. Same stuff. Let me show you what it looks like. It's just clay. And it's kind of rocked up. Uh, but we need it powderized. And so, yeah, you guys have probably seen these. These little... No, they're like little blender cutters so you can grind coffee and stuff this may be a little overloaded and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you guys watch this but I will start it up and it requires a bunch of little shaking and turning it over and, and you're gonna turn this into a really fine powder uh, with this device right here and so uh, in the ingredients uh, it's 10 to 1 um, one of these, the second ingredient, sand, I've got some really fine silica sand. Uh, so that'll be the second ingredient. One of these with uh, 10 silica sand and then moisten it very little. And I'll show you that as we go along. But uh, I'm just going to start by uh, uh, turning this bentonite clay into powder. All right, and we'll get it started and then we'll pause the video. Doing this reminds me of the Blimtech guy, Willet Blim. I know you guys all seen that video. Uh, so I'll get my sand over and we'll start mixing this together. Need a comment? Ready? Okay, I'm going to open this uh, clay. Don't breathe it in. I can still see some. Uh, I still see some big chunks in here. It's warm though from grinding it up. Um, I think I'm going to take it through the grinder a little bit more. Um, I can check out my line mark. Whatever this is, I'm just going to add 10 of these of sand. So let me do a little bit more grinding and I will be back with you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, I went through the grinder again and I got it pretty good. Um, you see these clumps but they break up as soon as you touch them. They're just sticking together. And so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to doing half at a time because uh, I wanted to get those clumps out. So I'll go ahead and pour this in. All right, got that. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do the other half and we'll be right back. Made a little bit of a mess here pouring that in. So we use this new brush I just got. Thank you, David. That works good. Yep. Okay, if I would have done this right, I would have probably put the clay on the top, but uh, I didn't do it right, so I'm going to put the half of it there. Now, I'm going to get the sand together, and I'm just going to use this for a measuring cup. And this is uh, white silica sand. It's very fine. It is pretty moist now, too. Um, and moisture is the thing we got to watch out for. Uh, I mean, you can dry it out, but uh, that's the, you guys like my uh, my little pail here, Dollar General buy, or yeah, the Dollar Store buy, little sand pail. I think this is playground sand, Don. Playground sand? This is, uh, this is excellent for sandboxes, white play sand, sandboxes, players, rec recreational areas. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to do this 10 times, and I'm going to pour it in this bucket, and then I'm going to pour the clay on, but we'll be back. Thank you. All right, I get my 10, my 10 cups or whatever, and uh, it's a lot more than I expected for my little bucket, so I've got a bigger bucket here. I'm going to pour this in here, 
I'm going to take half that clay, stick that in there, and then the rest of this and the other clay is on the top. And I have a, uh, I think this is a paint stirrer, but I'm going to go ahead and stir this up really good. And do this for multiple minutes. I broke my shovel. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I'm really concerned here with all the sand and stuff. I think the cats think I'm making a litter box. <laughs> so. Alright, so this is our mixture here. And I'm going to show you how to test it. I haven't put any water, but there was quite a bit of water from the... Uh, I am not mixed well, I can tell. Alright, well, I will mix this up and get it better. But, um, how to know that you have good green sand? Uh, so, from what I read online, is that you take it and you compress it in your hands, and it will not crumble, which this is crumbling a little bit. And then when you break it, you can break it apart without it crumbling. This is pretty close, but it's looking just a little bit dry. Uh, you don't want it, first of all, let me tell you, I don't know what I'm doing. I think you all probably know that, right? Um, but this is what I've seen online. Um, so, compress it and it should hold in a good ball but I'm getting a lot of this this stickiness and then it should fall apart with no crumbling kind of like that I'm gonna play with it a little bit and tell you what I think here more in just a little bit all right so I have a box and I put uh, some of my homemade green sand in it and I've got a mold on the other side I'm going to do an open mold, I think, just because I'm practicing. Okay. okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm telling you I don't know what I'm doing. I just think I know what I'm doing. All right. So there's my mold right there. It is a flywheel that I made out of oak. So the next thing I need to do is pull it out. Um, so let me go get some tools and see if I can pull it out. I see a little defect here, but that's okay. I'm just learning. Let's see what can happen here. I can already see a problem that this is not going to come out. Yep, it broke. So I'll have to figure out something on that Oil for my mold. Oil may work, yep. All right, well, I obviously back to the drawing board just a little bit. Um, uh, we'll do another video, hopefully when I'm successful. And uh, hopefully once, once, because we need to do this, uh, I need to have a mold for my brass. So anyway, we'll conclude this video series. I'll try to identify what I'm doing wrong, and I will get back with you guys.